We sure love our smartphones and tablets, but get on a plane and you'll likely be told to power off. Actor Alec Baldwin has found that the found that out the hard way and he paid the price. So just what are airlines thinking when they tell you to turn off your phone? We asked our Keith Bogue to find out. There will be no red carpets in Alec Baldwin's relationship with American Airlines. That much seems clear. The airline says the actor was extremely rude when asked to turn off his cell phone prior to take off on a flight yesterday. Baldwin wouldn't do it, said he was using the phone to play a game he likes. The airline says Baldwin then scurried to the washroom, locked himself in, wouldn't come out. Long story short, Baldwin was eventually removed from the flight and later tweeted this. Last flight with American, where Catholic school gym teachers from the 1950s find jobs as flight attendants. Power down any electronic items that... But what about that whole cell phone on the airplane thing? Can a cell phone endanger a flight by messing up the electronics of the plane? Brian Dunning is a professional skeptic. He researches, blogs, and podcasts about things he believes people should question. There's no science-based reason to worry about having a cell phone on an airplane. It's not going to make the plane crash. Uh, it's not going to make the plane crash. Boeing and Airbus, believe it or not, they actually do test their products. The airplane makers obviously have a huge interest in making sure that their planes won't crash just because someone left a cell phone on. The result of that is we're all allowed to bring our cell phones on airplanes. Uh, if they were a danger, we'd be allowed to bring them just like we're allowed to bring dynamite, which means not at all. So, if an active cell phone won't crash the plane, why not just let the Alec Baldwins of the world play their games? There may be reasons, just not science-based reasons. Uh, it's annoying. Uh, the airline may want you to pay more attention to their safety briefing. They don't want you to be distracted. The rule Baldwin broke may simply have been to forget who's in charge of the airplane. The pilot is the captain, and to the captain, it may have appeared that Baldwin was staging a mutiny against his crew, in which case not so surprising that he was made to walk the plank. Keith Oak, CBC News, Los Angeles.